In this episode, we will delve deep into Certified Associate Python Programmer PCAP Practice Exam questions, breaking down each response to ensure you're not just memorizing answers, but truly understanding the concepts. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you never miss out on our tips and updates. Now, let's crack those practice questions and conquer the Certified Associate Python Programmer PCAP exam together. Question 1. Olivia is working on a Python project involving a class hierarchy of geometric shapes. She has a base class shape and a subclass circle. She needs to implement the area method in circle that calculates the circle's area while ensuring the method aligns with the hierarchy. How should Olivia define the area method in circle to override and extend the functionality of the shape class? Question 2. Emily is debugging a Python application and notices that it is not correctly handling indexer. She realizes she needs to catch index error specifically rather than a more general exception type. Given that index error is a subclass of lookup error, which is the best way to handle this specific exception? Question 3. Rachel is developing a Python library for processing image files and needs to define a custom exception for handling cases where an unsupported file format is encountered. What is the best way for Rachel to define this custom exception? Question 4. Kevin is writing a Python application for a ticket booking system and needs to create a custom exception ticket sold out error for situations where no tickets are available. How should Kevin define this custom exception to ensure it is appropriately integrated into the exception hierarchy? Question 5. Linda is developing a Python application that connects to an API and processes the received data. She needs to ensure that any connection errors are handled separately from data processing errors. Which approach should she take? 